Hey, good morning, everyone. My name is Vipin Kumar, and in this demonstration, we are integrating Team City with Autopus. We are going to install Team City, Autopus, and then integration between. Team City is one of the popular continuous integration tool. It supports .NET deployment, Java deployment, UI deployment with JavaScript, etc. Team City has server agent model like Jenkins. You can scale up Team City by adding more agent to distribute the workload. I am using Team City and Autopus for the .NET and Windows service deployment. It is the best combination when you want to deploy ASP.NET application and Windows service on Windows platform. So let's begin installation of Team City. I am using Windows Server 2012 for this demonstration. You can download Team City from JetBrain website. Download exe. So once you are ready with your download, run the exe. Select the installation folder. It is always recommended use the another drive for the Team City installation. For this particular demonstration, I am going with the default. So I am going to select both the option build agent and server and I am going to install both the components as a windows service so that both the components can be start automatically on every server reboot. Go ahead and click on next. Team City install Tomcat and Java during the installation process. Now you have to provide the port number on which Team City user interface can be accessed. Please make sure that port 80 is not used anymore, like IIS, Skype, or any service. If you are using default port 80 for the user interface, go ahead and click next. Go ahead and validate all the required configuration settings before saving them. I am okay with these information, so I am saving these information. Click on OK. Select the user account under which you want to run Team City Server. I am going with System Account. Next. Select the user account under which you want to run Team City Agent Service. Again, I am going with System Account. Select the service you want to start now. And finally, finish it. Now you can access Team City on the browser. First time when you initialize Team City, it is asking to select or choose data directory to store server configuration, settings, project definition, build result, etc. I am okay with this data directory location. Go ahead and proceed. Team City is starting now with the data directory which we selected in previous step. Team City server stores build history and user related data in a SQL database. You can select any flavor of SQL database like PostgreSQL, MySQL, MSQL. For this demonstration, I am using a internal database called H SQL DB and select proceed. It is going to be create a database on same server. Select the license agreement. Continue and create a admin account for the team city.
so now your team city is up and online you can configure your profile so this is the home page of your team city server now we are completed with the team city installation let's go ahead and install the octopus octopus is a automated deployment and release management tool you can deploy application whatever on premises or in the cloud as well as any platform it is very popular tool to deploy application or service on windows platform so let's go ahead and install octopus on windows machine you can download the octopus installation file from their website so i am downloading octopus 64 bit version submit the detail to get a trial key i have already generated and get a trial key on my email account don't worry about the expiration of the license key after expiration of the license key it will become a community edition with the limitation of number of the project number of the target and other service 30 days is a sufficient time to learn and explore the octopus it is getting downloaded download process has been completed so i am starting the installation process octopus also required microsoft.net framework 4.6.2 so we require to install .NET framework before the installation you can download the microsoft.net framework 4.6.2 from the microsoft official website go ahead and download save it go ahead and install .NET framework 4.6.2 on the machine accept the license key and install it installation is completed now let's try to install the octopus click next accept the license agreement select the directory for octopus click on next now go for the installation it has been completed octopus has been installed now we require to configure it click on get started it is asking a license key so i have already a trial license key go for next select the home directory for octopus deploy server where it can store configuration file deployment package and other settings i am okay with the default location select the user account under which you want to run your octopus windows service i am okay with the local system account octopus use by default ms sql database to store project release deployment and other information for this demonstration I am using the SQL Server Express Edition. I encounter many problems during the installation of MS SQL 2012 Express Edition. So I choose the 2014 SQL Server Express Edition and we also required ASP.NET 3.5 for the SQL Server. So I have installed ASP.NET 3.5 on the machine I am going with default recommendation for this demonstration.
and finally we successfully installed sql server express edition 2014 on the machine let's begin where we left we have already installed sql server express 2014 on the machine select the server name it is going to discover automatically it discovered sql express on this machine i am ok with windows authentication and give the database name ok click next it is going to create a new database for you assign the permission on this database please make sure that port 80 is not conflicting with other service because autobus is going to use port 80 for their ui interface i am okay with that create a autobus administrator account you can select the authentication mode like you can use active directory or you can create username in autopus database so for this demonstration i am going to store username in autopus database okay now we are going to configure the octopus deploy server with our configuration settings go ahead and install you can see the script that is running in the behind and you can also look at the output of this process okay it is done this is autopus deploy server manager you can start and stop the autopus service this is the home directory and this is the log directory you can also manage your autopus database like export data import data let's try to access autopus server on the browser so now i can access autopus deploy server on the browser login with your administrator account yes autopus deploy server is loading fine this is the home page of autopus deploy server at this moment we are ready with team city and autopus let's start integration between team city and autopus deploy server for the integration between team city server and autopus deploy server you required a team city plugin for autopus you can download this plugin from autopus website you can download team city plugin for the windows platform once you are done with the download go back to your team city server and go to administration go down and click on plugins list now you require to upload plugin now you can see here autopus deploy integration plugin has been uploaded now you require to enable this plugin autopus deploy integration plugin has been enabled now we require to create a dummy project to demonstrate how you can use autopus deploy integration plugin to copy artifact from team city server to autopus deploy server let's create a dummy project click on administration create a new project give the repository url and proceed and proceed we are going to discuss in detail how to create a project and build a 
artifact in detail in coming video but in this video we are just creating a dummy project click on configure build step manually and uh, and go with the option called ms build and if you go down you will see options autopus packing and autopus publishing by using both the option copy or deploy our artifact from team city to autopus deploy server in our coming video so this is the complete step or process how to install team city autopus deploy server and how to integrate both of them to use a efficient continuous integration and continuous delivery model for the dotnet application in this video that's all thanks for watching have a nice day bye